Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Moby's Front 83. Now honestly I don't remember much of what happened previously because it's been a while since I played this. All I do remember is that now we are on the enemy front. We're pushing in and I know we have to close the portal I believe. So I managed to do some well risky shit and here's hoping that this will be enough for us to win. Now if I can just get one of these APCs here it's done I win. I win this fight. So long as this tank doesn't move forward. And do some shit like that. Oh my. We want it. I think we want it. Maybe. I think we got lucky this time around. I'm leaving these guys up here to distract the enemy force. Please tell me that's a win. That's a win! Holy shit, that's a win. I didn't think I was gonna win it! Alright, cool, let's continue the story. Let's keep up the speed, trooper. My foot's all the way down, sir. Well, then this thing is a piece of shit. <laughs> I fucking love this guy. Just the crap he comes up with. No argument there, sir. Don't worry about Danny. Likely he's gone by now. I know, sir. Yep. This place can go fucking. Hell yeah. Fucking fuck, fuck, fuck. My sentiment exactly. Don't swear, trooper. Don't swear, trooper. <laughs> okay. Time to come. Uh, yeah. You keep talking, Sergeant. Yes, sir. Yeah, okay. He's one of the Oh, what? No, I'm not telling him there's more shit. Okay. Invasive Organism Removal, IOR, is the act of eliminating ISRO in important areas, preventing them from spreading. It is much easier to prevent a spread early than to try to contain it after it has gained a foothold. IOR operations must be performed at... M O O P le oh ah I can't speak M O P P level four. Reinforced protective equipment is required to prevent ballistic penetration of swarming I S R O and reduce contact with their substances or vaporized particles. Do not attempt I O R without protective equipment. At least three T T V two M B C units will be in your company. So, oh god, that's gonna be a new game mechanic, isn't it? We're going to need to start dealing with these alien things, and the only way to deal with them is to have those suits. Oh, shit. Alright, well, let's get on with it then. Alrighty, so it doesn't seem like they've actually made that a unit type. So perhaps a couple of our guys automatically deploy with it? Alright, good thing we went where we did. Uh, what do we have here? We have mortars. I think I'm going to do the same setup that I did last time. So, gonna do that. Um. Trying to think where it would probably be best. I'm gonna YOLO and say right here. And then we're gonna put two of you, one of you. That'll be good for now. Alright, so we gotta move within about roughly 10 turns? I noticed the reason why the enemy starts having you know, a shit ton of troops show up is because of this. They get reinforcements towards the end. And that's when the problems start coming. That's when they start rolling out from here. So if we can push out and take this before reinforcements arrive, that's when we get golden. So let's go for it. My only concern is what... Is there anything special I have to do to kill these guys? I really don't know. Um, the only thing I can think to do is just use my tanks. That's, that's really it. Um, I would very much like to stay out of its effective fire range, or not effective fire range, I should say. It's effective range. What, what the f Oh, fuck, it's a hatchet. Fuck. Oh, I just fucked up. I didn't re God damn it, they have a hatchet out there. Alright, so they have hatchets. I gotta be careful. Um. Does it kind of uselessly have AA? I really don't see the value in having anti air weapons. God damn it, there's another hatchet. Oh, these pricks are waiting for us. Shit, I'm... Oh, no. Because I, I can really only move right here. Yeah, that's it. That's all I could do right now. Shit. I'm expecting those hatches to... Yep. I gotta drop those guys now. I gotta drop my people now. This is, oh, fuck. This is going all kinds of sideways right now. They gotta pull. Fuck. Can I kill it? Nope. Um. 
That's too risky. Way too risky. I'm pulling them back. I drop one of my guys here, there, and there for now. Pull this unit out. Drop that guy right there. We need to start taking points. Um, fuck it. I'm gonna take the risk. I'd rather have the point. I I don't really care about my jeeps as much as I do my APCs. Now my tank is the more most important unit. Um, we gotta get rid of that howitzer. Also gotta get rid of that hatchet. My armor can't move up. Fuck that! That goddamn hatchet has such a wide range. It's disgusting. Drop our mortars there, and there. We'll see about getting rid of these guys first. Drop them just in case. Those guys are going to get killed. Um, Alright, let's end that turn. I'm trying to think, because I'm kind of conflicted right now. I'm going to have to deal with the hatchets, but the howitzer is also a grave threat too. So, primary target... Yep, there we go. That's what I was waiting for. Primary target 100% is going to be... Wow. Okay. I'm sorry. I'll just go fuck myself. Thanks. Can you... No, you guys can't even hit him. But they can. Come on. You know, the one time the mortars would actually be fucking useful. Can you hit? Okay, you can. Son of a bitch! What is this fucking thing made of? Its friend died so easily. Fuck, anti-air gun there, of course. We're about we're probably gonna lose that Jeep to the hatchet. That APC might be a problem. Actually, hold on. No. No matter where I move, that hatchet's gonna hurt me. And it can move two spaces, so... Yeah, my guys are kinda boned right now. Shit. Right now, we could light that little fucker up. Done. Good kill. Alright. Now, we gotta see about dealing with... That prick with the hatchet. Let's leave them stationary. Move these guys up. Son of a bitch. Always. Seriously, these Vulcan guns are more just to piss me off than to actually, you know, hurt me. Wait a minute. Son of a bitch. Of course, I hit my own guys. Um, I can't fire and fire off smoke, I don't think. We are so royally screwed, it's not even funny. Shit, I pretty much just lost an entire troop. Of course. Of course they had someone covering their rear, why wouldn't they? Maybe I could use the tank and force him to retreat. It's kind of a risky move, but it might actually work.
Yeah, 100%. The biggest problems I have is the... God damn it. Fuck, another one. Alright, um... I'm gonna reset. I'm gonna do another set. Um, I think I'm gonna focus, considering the problems out here, I think I'm gonna focus the majority of my force here. Move on, try to overwhelm the hatchet. And then press forward, considering there's a hatchet here and here. The Vulcans aren't too much of a threat if I can manage to avoid them. So give me a few minutes, guys. Let me just try to get around this. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. So what I've started doing is I'm essentially using my Jeeps as cannon fodder. And what I'm doing with everybody... Yeah, fuck. Okay. I gotta remember to deal with these guys. Oh, fuck. I forgot all about those. Alright. I'm gonna have to deal with this. But... Essentially, I'm using my vehicles as cannon fodder for the hatchets in hopes of driving them back. Now, so far, it's working other than this one Vulcan incident. But other than that, you know, let me just drop these guys here. I'm going to fire boop, boop, and boop. Cool. Okay. So these aren't really at risk anymore. Um, I got to leave. Yeah. I gotta leave my tanks out of the way. As much as I want to roll them in right now, this is about as close as I can get them. They're still at risk. Ordering them to fire on anything is just, it's not gonna happen right now. Um, yeah, I'm gonna leave that there for now. I gotta kill that APC. God damn it. Alright, come on. You know what? I'm out of Jeeps. I'm gonna just. Fuck. Alright, get them out. We're gonna roll this tank in. That AP. That artillery's gotta go. Fuck. Uh, the MG's not gonna hit. Alright, so the artillery's gone. We should, at this point, be overwhelming them a bit. So what I'm hoping... Unfortunately, a lot of what I'm doing is hope. But... What I'm hoping... Is that by doing what I'm doing right now... We can force them into a retreat. It's gonna overwhelm the enemy, and for the sake of points and... Hold, now, of course, holding out till reinforcements arrive... They're gonna pull back. That's... Gambit I'm playing at right now. It could work. It could fuck me over big time. So... Shit. Get that unit back there. Hatchet's gone. Alright, so it didn't necessarily work the way I planned, but... Similar solution... Kinda sort of worked. Kinda. I mean, different end result, but fuck, it still worked. Alright, but now I can roll my armor in, and we're not in too much of a worry. Um, Alright, I can't drop those guys, unfortunately. But it's fine. Uh, you know what? Mm. I'm gonna roll down here. You guys are gonna hop in with that unit. Open fire. We don't really have a need for you to hang out here, so you guys are going to get into there. Roll out here. This will jump in there. Alright, I think we're good. Now, my only question is how I'm going to fall back to get that point down there. That's... I mean, I could always send a few guys this way and a couple of guys this way. Move them down and hook around this way. Maybe split them up a little bit. Like, have, um, if the tanks survive... Tank, have the tanks hang here, maybe split up that way. Have the APCs roll down this way and have these unit take there. Hopefully, fuck, we're in phase two. Hopefully, we can take these by the time reinforcements show up. That is the goal here. Um, Will it work? Maybe. Probably. Plausibly. A lot of bleeds. I like how that 
dead vehicle just kind of said fuck it. Oh, you just sat there like, eh, I'm dead. I'm screwed. There's no saving it. Can we? No, we can't because that sneaky little bastard ran over there. And of course, it's the one with the laser. Ugh. Alright. Whatever. It is what it is. Um. There's a hatchet down there. I really don't want to. Yeah, the best thing I can do. Oh, wait. There is an opening right here. Best thing. Uh, you know what? Let me move this one right here because there's going to be a chance. You know what? Pull these guys back. We're going to have them hang here for defense. Right? You can't move. Move that there. There. That hatch is going to be a problem. If I swing my guys around this way, like if I move my APCs this way, we should be able to overwhelm it. I think the biggest threat was the, the hatchets here. As soon as I deal with these two, the rest is just going to come falling apart. Fuck, they have AT. Ah, oh, shitballs. Alright. I might lose a tank here. So, yeah, you fucking sneaky bastards were high. Oh, what the f You have a disgust. What's kind of damage? One to two. I'm not too worried. So, if I drop right here, move my guys this way, keep this line moving forward. Yeah, that's yeah, fine. And then have the U2 set up here and there to cover our rear. Move up this way. Shit, a lot of maybes right now. A lot of maybes. That tank could survive, that tank could die. Fuck. What was the chance of that happening? Two to six damage. Yeah, it, it was plausible to say the least. You guys aren't... No, you're not. Okay, so we're going to drop there and there. Roll this unit there. I'd rather not take a big risk. Shit, and that hatchet's going to be in my way. That hatchet is going to be fucking problem of the day. Let's keep you guys going this way. You guys can't effectively fire on anything yet. How much damage does that AA gun do? It does 1 to 2 damage. Their reinforcements are coming in. Of course, they have a gunship. That might be their entire reinforcements right there. Shit. Those are choppers. So the enemy armor doesn't scare me too much. It's the choppers that scare me the most. And I really don't have any units to deal with that. That is a very big problem. What are the chances if I swing up this way? There's going to be a hatchet up here. What are the fucking chances? I just boned myself. I can do two to six damage. That one rocket could kill this. Well, nobody's home in that APC, so it's fine. Swing that unit around that way. They can't fire. They can only move. Cool. All right. And they can pop off mortar. That killed them. That was awesome. Oh, yeah. We have mortars, don't we? This could go very sideways very quickly right now. Yeah, like that. Exactly like that. So these bastards, those fucking choppers are going to end up bringing down my rear guard. Fuck. Yeah, I had a feeling it was going to... Shit. So it seems like the worst of it is going to be... What was that? Machine gun and a laser. That's not too big of a deal. It's still a problem, don't get me wrong. If I can get these units to swing around and deal with this AT, this, uh, yeah, AT. Fuck. 
course. A lot of maybes right now. But they basically, because of those choppers, I basically lost my rear guard. The enemy anti-air doesn't scare me that much. It's a concern, do not get me wrong. But there are other units out here that I'm more concerned with. Those hatchets are a greater threat than... Oh, shit balls! Alright, well... I can't pop smoke right now. You know, just when I need them the most is exactly when my mortars become useless. I don't have high hopes for this one, guys. Because we still have three more objectives to take. We have no anti-air. Our armor is very limited. Broken. What definitely threw a wrench in this was the fact that I was not prepared to deal with AT units. I didn't think that they had... Fuck. Right, the hatchet here. Oh, it's dead. So that's something I don't have to worry about anymore. But, yeah, that kind of screwed me. I can't hurt that hatchet. Oh, what are the fucking chances? They're out of ammo. Oh, that sucks for them. They can't kill my tank, but my tank can't kill them. They're in a standstill right now. We're kind of chasing this APC down there. It just kind of like, fuck it. He's dipping the hell out of there. These guys are unfortunately hiding in the woods. Shit. I keep wanting to say, hey, I'll use my tank and roll over here. I can't. Those treads are busted. There's probably a Vulcan right here. I'm willing to bet any amount of money there's a Vulcan hanging right there. No! No, alright, good shit. Of course. Of course, we have similar armament, but of course I can't hurt him, but he can hurt me. Yeah, I'm absolutely boned on this one. I mean, I definitely got further than I thought I would. But... I need to have at least one AA unit present, so that way it can act as a rear guard. And then we could use the rest to move up. But I also need sufficient infantry in order to deal with these hatchets. I might have to sacrifice a tank, maybe... maybe an APC? I don't think I need as many mortars as I'm deploying. Maybe two mortars is more than enough. Alright, they kind of just gave me that one. I think they gave it to me because of the fact that Chopper's here. I can't do anything against it. They can effectively tell me to go fuck myself right now. What I've noticed more and more though, the enemy units, like these guys, tend to run away. If you get right up close to them, they don't want to risk losing their units, so they pull out. They'd rather hit you at range than anything else. You see that? See? He moved.
I mean, don't get me Fuck, I probably just boxed myself in. Uh, balls. Alright, um... Well, if I'm gonna die, go out fighting. Yeah, this is turning very bad very fast. I'm gonna take the risk. They're gonna get hurt, but that's fine. Um... Maybe I can distract that chopper. I'm just thinking, if I can keep the enemy units at least distracted long enough for these guys to get to these objectives, I need like two turns. That's it. Well, okay, wrong. I need multiple turns, but I digress. I need enough turns to draw their, like, to keep them, I just need enough turns to get there. That's it. And if I can get there, I'm good. Like, these guys might chase me. How much damage does that gun do? One to two damage. Plausible? I might have just fucked myself, but we'll see. They're, they're deliberately staying out of the range of the chopper. Those guys might hurt me a little bit. Fuck. This, these guys aren't going to make it. They, they will. They won't. So, I'm going to get to the last point and the mission's going to be a fail. Yep, there you go. We're already falling apart. These guys move like one area per turn and... That's just not cricket. That is not gonna... They're on one health. There's no way in hell any of these guys are making it. Yeah, as I figured, those bottom units are gone. These guys, maybe? It's a very big maybe. But... Like, a huge fucking maybe. Absolutely not. Never mind. Okay, so this is where I call loss. I'm gonna try this again. I'm gonna try to get my guys to move a little faster next time. And as soon as we get up to, like, roughly this point, I'll get back to you guys. So give me a few minutes. Okay, so before I get back into it, I just wanted to point something out that I noticed. None of these units are for AT. I'm sorry, AA. All these guys are ground focused. The most I have in effectiveness against choppers is the machine guns on the Patton, on the the troop transport, and the jeeps. That's all I have in terms of AA. So, theoretically, yes, what I could do is I could just push up Take this point, wait till the reinforcements arrive, and try to wipe out everybody. I could do that, or I could try again and try to push over, uh, push forward, try to focus my force on taking this top part here, and then move down south, and then kind of get more into a defensive position when enemy units arrive. So those are my options right there. It's very 50/50. Uh, I'm gonna get back into it and see what I can do. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. So things haven't gone much better. But they're still better. So that hatchet is now out of ammo. It is the last hatchet that I really have to worry about. Now the rest of this is just going to be storming right through. I should be able just to roll right through enemy lines. I really don't think there's going to be anything I have to panic about. But you know what? Just to spite them. Actually, you know what? Hold on. Load them up. 
Roll out here. I was gonna go ahead and kill him to spite him, but screw it. There's no reason to do that. What I'm gonna do is take this unit down there. This unit's gonna go up. I did manage to wipe out their reinforcements. Uh, thankfully, I overwhelmed them using the MGs on the tanks and the APCs. The APCs that are unfortunately no longer with us, but I digress. It is what it is. We're gonna roll out, grab what we can, hopefully push these guys on our backs as far as we can. I don't know if the tanks are gonna hold. It depends. Fuck. It depends entirely on what units are available. Or, or rather, I should say, what, what units are in the field. So long as we can get around any a enemy AT units, we're good. What the fuck? That's what concerns me, though. Those guys right there could throw a wrench in absolutely everything right now. So, so long as these guys survive, we're golden. I think we're gonna be okay. Maybe. So long as there's not much up here, I'll be alright. You know what I could do? Shit. No matter where... Uh, they only move one turn per... Uh... Let me go this way. Alright, that tornado thing's falling back. It's not likely they'll hit me that turn. Okay, so we have a pretty solid understanding of what's ahead of us. Those guys aren't too much of a concern. None of this really bothers me. It's those AT units that bother me. So we're going to roll right here. I can't fire because of the guys on my back. Next turn, I'm dropping these guys right there. If I can. If not, they're dropping there. Why are they backing off? And just in case. Alright, we're looking good, looking good. We're almost there. Next turn should end it. Yeah, the APC is, like, just getting the fuck out. No fucks are given. Um... This is left of what's... Of my unit, that's it. These two tanks and that one infantry unit. This is all that's left. Um... That's a win. Good shit. I really didn't think I was gonna win. Alright, let's see. Is there any story... Oh, hey! Fucking... Sergeant... Damn it, why does everything here stink to high heaven? I, you know what? Your guess best goes on. Maybe it's that red shit in the water, but that's just me. Don't know, sir. It smells like Uncle Petey's rotten teeth. May he oh, okay. Yes, sir. I tell you, he tried to talk to us sometimes. It's like we was being blasted with swamp gas. Ugh. That's a guy who sir, needs, like, you know, eyes and ears of the army, right? needs, like, some serious dental work. Nobody said anything about the nose. That's a good point, Trooper. Damn good point. Nose? What the hell was he talking about? Alright, let's see what this is now. Another effective removal technique employs the M6790 mm recoilless rifle with high explosive anti tank heat shells, which are able to penetrate the hardened outer surface. The probability of a first round kill against a stationary, fully exposed target at 200 meters is over 50%. Engaging from an elevated position may reduce the residual ground containment from ISRO fluid. Remember to clear backblast area before firing. Yeah, you never want to fire an RPG with your buddy right next to you. Or right behind you, I should say. And I mean, I feel, honestly, I really don't think they need to remind us not to use a backblast. Or, or, I'm sorry. They need to remind us of, you know, hey, make sure there isn't some asshole hanging out behind you before you fire your rocket. After IOR operation is complete, the area should be avoided for 72 hours if it must be traversed. Do so at MOPP level 4 or higher and as quickly as possible. Okay. Cool. I mean, that doesn't mean anything to me. I guess it's just more story stuff, but it goes to show that the alternate Earth, wherever the hell we are, they've been dealing with this shit for a very long time. But considering this is about as much i've been recording for about an hour and 20 that's all the time i have for for today guys thank you so much for watching hope you've enjoyed if you like it leave a like if you dislike it dislike it leave those comments in that comment section below tell me what you think hit the bell icon to stay informed and guys as remember as always if you want to help out the channel any and all activity on the channel on these videos helps us out tremendously so if you leave likes dislikes comments 
questions, the bell icon, that all helps us out. That will help push these videos. I will see you guys around the next one. Thank you and have a good night.